Hello everyone, uh, this is Khaled again uh, with the uh, demonstration of uh, not one but two smart hand controllers and we will uh, demonstrate uh, how they work with uh, Wi-Fi. So the one on the left here, so this one is basically the original uh, design and the hardware was done by uh, Dave Schwartz. So he did the hardware, I ported the uh, SHC firmware that was running on the Teensy to run on uh, the, uh, uh, the ESP32. Um, you will notice here that there are no four buttons here. This is optional, you can have them. But for me, if you, if you notice the, the center button is basically a joystick which goes uh, uh, forward, left, right and back and then you can click. So I found that with this printed uh, joystick, so this is a 3D printed joystick made of, I think, a material called TPU. Uh, it's, it's much better, with, especially with a glove. Uh, you know, uh, here in Canada, we, we have uh, cold uh, nights and uh, uh, it's handy to be able to, to, to operate the buttons uh, with, uh, with gloves on. Uh, so this is the 1.13 uh, uh, screen, which is a standard size that comes with the SHC. And because the hand controllers now support Wi-Fi, thanks to uh, Jesco Top, who m did all the work and then Howard incorporated it and, and improved it based on feedback, uh, which I which I will demonstrate later. Uh, but you can see also that this one has room for two uh, nickel metal hydride batteries and there is an on off switch here okay and inside in this area there's a, a dc to dc booster that will take the the voltage from from these two and boost it to to five volts uh, so that the shc would work on would work on it uh, uh, ken hunter took the the board design by Dave and he changed the layout I, I won't open the the boxes and show you the layout but uh, but basically uh, to accommodate a non 3d printed uh, uh, box so you can see that this one is 3d printed okay if you have access to that uh, if you have a 3d printer yourself or a friend has it or you are a member of a, a maker uh, uh, group in in your city then you can you can 3d print uh, this uh, this one uh, Ken wanted to use a ready-made uh, plastic case and uh, you notice that I, I I left the the buttons on and there is a joystick here which is a bit smaller than this joystick but in the end they both uh, are about the same size there isn't much there is much difference I mean there are other videos that show different 3d printed uh, designs okay um, and of course there is you have to have a hole here so that you can flash the uh, the firmware so so whichever one you end up with I mean Ken is selling these ones uh, uh, with a cable and you can you can flash it with your uh, Wi-Fi settings and it will work in Wi-Fi um, and uh, there are there are many ways to to power the Wi-Fi one so one is is to is to modify the 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 batteries. So even though there are two batteries here, uh, Cezai Ozel on on the group uh, demonstrated how he can run on four uh, AAA batteries without a booster. Okay, so that's that's another option there. Uh, you just put another another holder next to this one and move this one to the to the side. Uh, some people were able to to run it using uh, a phone power bank you know those uh, those phone power bank i have one here the form factor is is not uh, suitable is not the most suitable for this one it it, it works but uh, you have to have always a power connected power connected here and so this this cable will always be sticking and in the dark you may knock it off or something uh, there are others this one is a 5 uh, 5200 milliampere per hour I think uh, the others are 2000 are thinner and wider so they call them credit card or something I couldn't find any in in my uh, uh, in my area 
so I just went with this one which was like uh, eight and a half dollars Canadian or something so maybe six uh, six dollars uh, US but uh, it does it does the job so uh, let us uh, connect here and see what what happens so there okay so you see that uh, the, the the bright LEDs come up and then so now that it's uh, it's connected you will see that it will ask you which uh, controller to connect to so basically I have two controllers one is the real uh, one with a Freeset C S6 this is in, in the mount and then you have a blue pill which I use for the uh, uh, for testing and then when I'm off-site so I'll just uh, connect to the blue pill here and after a couple of messages it will say looking for one step and the controller is actually in a different part of the house uh, powered on uh, but it's connected to the uh, to the Wi-Fi the house uh, the Wi-Fi of the house so now it's it's connected and you you can see that it's you know showing the right ascension declination and you can cycle through the display azimuth zero altitude is my uh, uh, latitude and what what the time is now okay from the controller I can also at the same time uh, connect to connect using uh, K stars Okay, and you can see that the it's connected, and uh, that's also using Wi-Fi. So I have two Wi-Fi connections: one uh, for the, and you can see here the uh, uh, the crosshairs that you can that you can see. So if I like go here and say go to and I want to say, for example, let's say solar system. So we'll go to say Jupiter. Okay. So now there's a beep. I don't think you can hear it, but it's from upstairs. And then you can see the uh, coordinates changing here. And at the same time, if you can see it, I'm not sure if it's clear in the video. This is the pointer okay and it has reached Jupiter now okay and you can see that it's it's tracking there is a there is a star here okay which means that it's uh, tracking sidereal sidereal tracking okay and uh, just to make sure that you can see the uh, this is the smart web server output and you can see that it's tracking is on with PPS this is the, the uh, pulse per second signal uh, and this is the tracking rate which is the normal serial this is the maximum speed and uh, where the the mount is is pointing to so you will see that it's it should be very close to what you see here not sure. actually it's identical okay that's good now I could also I could also tell K stars to move and so I, you could do the uh, this lose from uh, from any side you want so let us say uh, the Pleiades 
you can see here here this is the playlist so you can see that the the pointer here is 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 going around the pole and the same thing is that you you can see here that the coordinates are are incrementing okay. so it goes to the pole and then waits for the other axis to come over and then it continues from the pole to the Pleiades okay and then once it reaches there you see the pointer here changes from the double arrows to uh, star okay so whichever hand controller you end up with the software is identical you don't need to uh, uh, worry about the internals as long as it's uh, an ESP32 it can do both uh, wired and Wi-Fi um, the only thing that you that you can decide on is, is whether to use the uh, uh, ready-made case which is, which is only for the for uh, Ken Hunter's uh, board you can uh, you can order it with that one and it's quite functional okay uh, almost the same same as, as this one and or you can have a 3d printed case and you can go fancy with uh, you know like a longer one with batteries on on the bottom so you can you can put your own batteries in the bottom uh, someone had i think chad gray had a video out with with a, s a bottom sliding component that you can put in but but again you, you need to do the you have access to a 3d printer to get that so uh, that's all I wanted to uh, uh, to say today. Uh, thanks for uh, everyone who worked on this day for designing the original board. Uh, Jesco Top for uh, adding Wi-Fi, and Ken for uh, making them available for purchase for people who uh, don't want to build uh, electronic stuff themselves. And uh, of course Howard who uh, ported the. Uh, the SHC software from uh, George uh, Lemaire. George Lemaire had a project called TNC Astro that's based on OnStep, and he or he is originally the, uh, the author of the SHC for for the TNC. Uh, I uh, ported that that uh, firmware to the ESP32, and then Howard improved it significantly, and we've improved the catalogs as well. The catalogs now are far more accurate and far more comprehensive than. Uh, uh, they used to be um, so um, if you have any questions put them in the comment I'll, I'll include in the description of the video uh, links to the appropriate uh, where you can uh, get the uh, uh, the SHC from the, the Ken Hunter one because uh, he's the only one selling them for now um, and uh, and we'll go from there so you can you can post your uh, your questions or uh, comments or whatever. Thank you.